हेलो व्यूवर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लेग्रांज मीन वैल्यू थ्योरम राइट सो हियर विल अप्लाई लेग्रांज मीन वैल्यू थ्योरम टू प्रूव दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट इन इक्वालिटी विच सेज दैट ई रेज टू एक्स माइनस एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन वन ओवर वन प्लस एक्स फॉर ऑल एक्स ग्रेटर देन जीरो राइट now lagrange's mean value theorem is one of the most important uh, theorem in calculus right so let us start and uh, first of all uh, let us take the statement of lagrange's mean value theorem and uh, see uh, we know that if we have uh, a function say y is equal to f of x uh, which is defined in some interval say uh, a comma b right then lagrange mean value theorem uh, states that if this function uh, y is equal to f of x is uh, continuous if this function is continuous in this interval a comma b and uh, this function is uh, derivable or differentiable in the interval a comma b then there must exist a point uh, say t uh, lying between a and b that is uh, a and b uh, such that uh, the derivative of this function at uh, this point t say f prime of t must be equal to uh, f of b minus f of a uh, divided by b minus a right so this is the statement of lagrange's mean value theorem right so this function uh, y is equal to fx must be continuous in this interval it this function must be differentiable in this interval then there must exist a point say x is equal to t uh, which lies between a and b such that the derivative of this function at x is equal to t must be equal to the quotient of fb minus fa divided by b minus a right so let us use this theorem uh, to prove this inequality right so now uh, to prove this inequality uh, let us first write or let us first frame function right so here uh, we can take a function say f of x is equal to uh, e raised to x minus 1 over 1 plus x right so this is our function uh, to prove uh, this inequality right and here uh, obviously x is greater than 0 or here uh, we can take the interval that is 0 to x right okay so now uh, let us first see whether this function Uh, satisfies the conditions of lagrange's mean value theorem right so see the first condition is that this function must be a continuous function in this interval right so f of x is a combination of exponential function and here 1 over 1 plus x is a rational function right and see uh, e raised to x is uh, continuous and similarly 1 over 1 plus x this function is also uh, continuous in this interval right and f of x is a sum of uh, two continuous functions and we know that if a function is a sum of two continuous functions then uh, the function is a continuous function right so f of x is uh, continuous right in this interval that is uh, 0 to x right now let us see the second condition here see uh, this function f of x should be differentiable in this interval right now let us find out the derivative of uh, f of x right so f prime of x can be uh, written as the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x and the derivative of 1 over 1 plus x is uh, minus 1 over 1 plus x square right and this is equal to e raised to x and minus and minus it becomes plus so we have 1 over 1 plus x 
whole square right and from this expression uh, we see that the derivative of f of x it exists in this interval that is uh, 0 comma x right so the function f of x is continuous in this interval and this function is derivable in this interval so there must exist a, um, a point say x is equal to t uh, between a and b such that f prime of t is equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a right so here uh, we can take a point say t which lies between 0 and x right such that f prime of t must be equal to f of b b is x here and b is x and a is 0 here so we can write f of x minus f of 0 uh, divided by uh, x minus 0 right so now f prime of t can be uh, taken from this expression so here we can replace x by t so f prime of t can be written as e raised to t plus uh, 1 over 1 plus t uh, square whole square here and f of x is e raised to x minus 1 over 1 plus x so here we can write e raised to x minus 1 over 1 plus x and uh, minus f of 0 see f of 0 is equal to here we can write uh, uh, for x we can write 0 so we have e raised to 0 minus 1 over 1 plus 0 so this is e raised to 0 is 1 that is uh, uh, the uh, power of exponential number is equal to 1 when here we have 0 so this is uh, minus 1 over 1 that is 1 minus 1 is 0 right so here we can write 0 divided by x minus 0 so which is simply x right so now we can uh, write this expression as e raised to x minus 1 over 1 plus x uh, divided by x right so now we have uh, uh, this expression right so we have uh, rewritten this expression over here and uh, from this expression now we will uh, try to prove uh, this inequality right so uh, to prove it uh, what we will do uh, here we'll make use of one important result uh, which is associated with the exponential function right see we know that e raised to t is given by uh, 1 plus t over uh, factorial 1 then we have t square over factorial 2 and t cube over factorial 3 and so on right so this is an infinite series right and see uh, here our t it lies between uh, 0 and x and x is uh, uh, greater than 0 so obviously t is also uh, greater than 0 right so from this series uh, we can conclude that uh, e raised to t uh, is always greater than 1 right okay so now we'll uh, uh, proceed further by uh, using uh, this inequality so now uh, let us uh, uh, take this inequality and uh, let us add uh, this term that is 1 over 1 plus t whole square to both sides of uh, this inequality right so what we will do we'll add uh, 1 over 1 plus t whole square to both sides of this inequality that is e raised to t greater than 1 right so what we will get we'll have a e raised to t here we'll uh, have 1 over 1 plus t uh, whole square and here we have 1 plus 1 over 1 plus t whole square right now uh, let us take this inequality as inequality number 1 right and now see uh, this quantity is uh, equal to e raised to x minus 1 over 1 plus x divided by x right so let us replace this in uh, this expression uh, by this expression so we'll get e raised to x minus 1 over 1 plus x divided by x 
greater than uh, 1 plus uh, 1 over 1 plus t whole square right so now uh, we have got uh, this inequality now let us consider uh, this quantity right see uh, here uh, t it lies between uh, 0 and x right and x is a positive quantity that is x is greater than 0 and so is uh, t uh, is greater than uh, 0 right okay so now uh, this quantity that is uh, uh, 1 over 1 plus t uh, whole square is always greater than 0 right because see t is a positive quantity that is it is greater than 0 so 1 plus t is also greater than uh, 0 and the square of uh, 1 plus t is obviously greater than 0 so this entire term that is 1 over 1 plus t whole square is greater than uh, 0 right so now if we add 1 to both sides of this inequality what we will get c will get 1 plus 1 over 1 plus t uh, whole square is greater than uh, 0 plus 1 that is 1 right so this quantity that is 1 plus 1 over 1 plus t whole square is greater than 1 right but here uh, we see that this quantity is greater than 1 plus 1 over 1 plus t whole square right so now if we uh, combine uh, this inequality 2 and equality inequality 3 then uh, we'll get this inequality that is e raised to x minus uh, 1 over 1 plus x divided by x must be greater than 1 right and this inequality can be taken as inequality number 4 right so now we have arrived at this important inequality right and see here in the denominator we have x so, and x is uh, uh, greater than 0 that is uh, it is a positive quantity right so we can remove this x by multiplying both sides by x so what we will get we'll get e raised to x minus uh, 1 over 1 plus x uh, greater than x right and now we can transpose this uh, x to this side and uh, minus 1 over 1 plus x to the uh, right hand side so we'll get e raised to x minus x greater than 1 over 1 plus x right and this is the uh, desired uh, inequality which we have to uh, prove for all x greater than 0 right so viewers this is how by uh, the application of uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, we can uh, prove uh, these type of uh, inequalities